Where'd you go? Hmm? You hiding? You should have stayed hidden with your paintings. <laughs> Here in my humble home. Oh. Having a bit of fun before your father broke. Eh? Don't talk about my father! We <laughs> have to hit the rooms on our cauldron! No. You'll do well in Odin's state. Shut up! <laughs> I'm sure he'll make such a fine pop. You'll forget all about your old one. Shut up! Duraka! Why won't you leave me alone, girl? I can't anymore! Spring gun, clown bull! Just leave! Why are you even here? No! Get away! I got some undir. Gotta get off the floor. Your pitiful giants! The both of you! There's a candle! Sí, 
you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! Just... Get out! No. Oh. Let's go. Oh. You think you've done something here, granddaughter? You are nothing and no one will ever remember you not even loki you'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story he'll be too busy mourning his father i see you again you wish you died with your parents You sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for? She used to leave me food. What? She'd say she didn't care about me, but sometimes I'd wake up and I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. It was baked just the way she always used to. She's not a monster, you know? She's lost. You wanna walk? It's fine. This was a long time coming. We'll be back once we reach the other side of this pass. Well, then, that's two out of three. Atreus. Race me. Come on. I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after and last time. I appreciate it. Um, last time, I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure it wasn't. So prove me wrong. One, two, three, go! Fine. You coming or what? Go, go, go! Fox? Oh, no, you don't! Watch the turn here! <laughs> The whole way. Loki. Er, 
Atreus. Thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. Well, I suppose you're ready to get home now. I'll meet you by the shrine when you're ready. Do I have to leave? Not if you don't want to. Your prophecy was less clear on when you have to go. My prophecy? Hey, what's this one? I painted that one with grandmother. Wasn't as good back then. This one's covered up. Yeah, it's not ready for anyone's eyes. Except maybe Yala. You can't be that bad. <laughs> maybe I'll show it to you one day. But not today. You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think? You care for your dad so much you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. <laughs> Laufe? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both...
mother may be gone, but your father... You've still got time. Say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. What happens to you now? I don't know. Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Okay. Huh. The stars here are different. No. You just are. I am gonna see you again. <laughs> sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it. Home. 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 Like that? Other home, other home, other home. I gotta get back to Sindri's and figure out how to save Father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angravota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into?
I... I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days? I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Yeah! <laughs> 
Violation imagined. Maybe for the moment you're of more use to me alive. <clears throat> this is home. Home? Really? You will tell the truth when I return. Well, I must set things right. Um. We'll take him. Oh, your majesty. A pleasure to see you again. Bronifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I That's why I still might kill you when this is over. We going or what? Go!
Ain't going nowhere without this. <laughs> Where would you mug spouts even be without me? What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. It's because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beefwit brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote, too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Moonwolheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Hey! How's about a riddle to lighten the mood? What runs with no legs? Easier. Yeah. Nose. You'll have to try harder than that, Brock. Just you wait, smart guy. Brock! A few birds you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. Come on, let's find a way forward. Mmm, that's gonna need more magic than we got on us. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. <sighs> Falky! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel, and it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for you. Not. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this human... <laughs> Thank you. 
like it, loud? Let's say, brother! Hey, Bunk Air! Come on! But don't that get the old juices flowing? Forgot how much I like scrappingers. A scrap of loot, dude. Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success <laughs> that was. Obviously, the no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? So, which is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? Brother, do you really think she'll let us off the hook if you help her? I do not know. I choose to help. After that, we will see. Ah. I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? They sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it.
This here would have made for a prime shop, Loki. Dwarves in Vanaheim? That would be something to see. up ahead. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. Plant life looks more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it is. Sindri and I were on the out so long it was like not having a brother at all. 
Now, I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough! When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. You understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I guess. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story. Find me. You wish. What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? It depends on the weapon. And the man. Shiny. <laughs> this river. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. Oh, someone wants a beat there. Oh. Oh. One of them hairy oh. ass bastards. Fire in the hole. <laughs> oh. Oh! 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 Oh!
Hold up, if you want to keep your insides inside. All yours, big guy. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Come <clears throat> on up. Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Yeah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor, too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? 
Is she even alive? Answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Fair. So you can come and go between the realms whenever you please, you're very welcome. God, this here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up. Five million moonbeams. I didn't realize the whole thing was taking business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me. <laughs> okay, well. Well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I was gonna. That's Kratos. Though you can call him whatever pops into your head. Kratos, Lunda. We go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Damn! Am I good or what? Very good. Get so much as a paper cut in that. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. A good fit. That ought to last you a little while. What'll it be? Need something special? You just came to stare? Oh, so I'm just some plot?
Offer. Hello, servant of Freya. Look, you chased him off. Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Hey, you're looking at it. What, you fight? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you can't dog. Oh, fuck me. Do you know their numbers? Oh, numbers? Now that the distractions are out of the way... I have words, if you would hear them. Speak, then. With anger you feel for your brother, I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. Stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his. No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about.
An ancient!
I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. Ha! Ah! 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 Ah!
Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family, my mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes, I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope. What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked.
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is no peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. I used to play hide-and-seek with Freyr in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honeybirds in the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back to be reminded of all this. Grand Hall. It's in ruin. May 
Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. You can get through over here! I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made.
These plants <laughs> behave similarly to the scorn holes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. <laughs> Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate to be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns? The fates of these lands? That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Trace would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time. Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Oh. Well done, bro. <laughs> Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate. Even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. 